when I found out I was pregnant. We were happy, and I guess we were pretty optimistic. Maybe too optimistic. Yes. Because we and kept we just, saying, oh, let's plan for this and plan for that. And we just, you know, you just never think it's going to happen to you. A couple we'll call Karen and Don decided it was time to have a baby. But they were troubled by some family history. A brother and a niece of Don's had been born with physical deformities and mental retardation. Might a child of theirs be affected in the same way? Don went to a genetics clinic for testing. He learned that a piece of his genetic material was out of place. The abnormality hadn't affected him, but it could very well affect his children. When we found out that I was a carrier, it was kind of rough for a while because we were thinking, well, then we're probably going to have to make alternatives, uh, adoption or um, artificial insemination. And I was not very supportive with that. I was feeling guilty. I was upset. I would... Um, you wouldn't talk. I wouldn't talk. I felt the need to talk about it and plan for the future. So we have this information, we've got to make decisions. He didn't want to talk about it. It was to the point where I said, I really don't want to have any kids, period. But they did talk, and talk was just in time. Karen discovered she was pregnant. She and Don made a choice to have her undergo amniocentesis, a test to determine the status of her fetus. Their physician was Dr. Donald Rucknagel. Karen had the amniocentesis a few weeks before Christmas. And so she went through the Christmas holiday with the uncertainty of not knowing what the outcome was. And I called her and told her that the chromosomes were unbalanced in that fetus and that it was destined to be a child with mental retardation. Now, there was another choice. And the thought kept crossing my mind, maybe I never will get pregnant again. Maybe this is my only chance. And that bothered me a little bit, thinking, you know, maybe I should go ahead and have the child because it could be the only one I'll ever have. But when the time came, we felt we made the right decision for us, which is not necessarily the right mm -hmm. decision for someone else, but it was the right one for us. The decision was to terminate the pregnancy. If the fetus had been a carrier, then we were going to go ahead mm -hmm. and go full term and mm -hmm. have the child, mm -hmm. but we did not want to have a child that we knew would have physical deformities and be mentally retarded. Karen's family had a hard time with their decision. It wasn't easy for her either. I just took a short period of time off work after I terminated my pregnancy, and when I went back to work, everyone acted like things should be normal, like nothing had ever happened. And I was definitely mourning, and I think people were very uncomfortable with it because it's not like I just lost the baby, I had a miscarriage. I willfully went in and terminated a pregnancy, and I think that it was hard for people to deal with it. And I think some people think it was the kind of thing you go in and you're knocked out and you wake up and there's, you're not pregnant anymore, and that's not the way it was at all. They induced labor, and I was in labor for 10 hours, and I delivered a child. I was awake. Other couples make other choices with genetic information. Knowing what's coming during a pregnancy helps hospitals prepare for the delivery. It helps families prepare for when the baby's brought home. Karen and Don's experience brought them closer as a couple. She became pregnant once again. And once again, after testing, it all came down to a phone call. I had called to find out how soon we were going to know if we were going to get the results. And they said, well, as a matter of fact, it's basically done. All they have to do is go home and cut out the little pictures of the chromosomes and match them up. He said, so we can't tell you today, but we'll be able to tell you in the morning. It was a moment of tension. We had hope. And well, when I had talked to the nurse, I tried to read into her voice, mm -hmm. whether it was mm -hmm. good or bad. And she said, I got good news. She just said, everything's fine. Everything's fine, and the baby was not, even a carrier. not even a carrier. Perfectly normal. Perfectly yeah, normal child. And then I asked the sex. Yeah. She wouldn't re volunteer it, so we had to ask. Because we wanted to know. Uh -huh. I thought, if any human being knows, then I'm going to know. <laughs> so we found out it was a Friday morning. 
we started planning and we started coming up with names because we knew we were going to have a boy. And we just, then we knew. <laughs> Thank you.